Hello everybody, my name is Adir Rock 100 and welcome back to more of Pokemon Emerald last time. We arrived here, but well, we defeated Roxanne, we defeated an Aqua Grunt, I hope someone will retrieve his goods. And we got the Pokenap! This time, we are going here to be heading south to Duper City, but before we do so, we want to talk to May right here. You had a match call feature put in your Pokenap, let's switch to each other so we can contact one another. Okay. Oh, by the way, I passed Mr. Briney in Pendleton Woods. I guess he's on his way home into his cottage by the sea. How's your Pokemon coming along, Derek? Mine's looking pretty decent. So, how about a little battle? Sure. You just became a trainer, Derek. I will not. I'm not going to lose. Okay. Now this might kind of worries me a little bit for a plethora of reasons, but I'll get to that in just a minute. But anyway, this is Trainer May. Just has two Pokemon on her team. Her first Pokemon. Low Tad, level 13, Water Grass type, Swift Swim for the ability. Astonish, Ground, Absorb, and Nature Power. Um, if you start off with a Mud Kick, well actually with a Torch, excuse me, she will have a Torkoal, level 13, Pure Fire type, White Smoke for the ability. With Ember, Smog, and Curse, that's all it's gonna have. And if you start off with a Mud Kick, she's gonna have a Wingo, level 13, Water Grass, Flying type, excuse me, Keen Eye for the ability. Ground, Water Gun, Supersonic, and Wing Attack. Okay. So this is the only time where I'm going to be showing off the exclusive Pokemon that are in May's separate um, party for when we're battling with a different starter. I'll be sticking with the Pokemon that she will have when I have Snipe with Snipey Trico. Excuse me. Good lord. But anyway, the last Pokemon. Um, Torchic, level 15, pure fire type, blaze for the ability. With Scratch, Ground, Focus, and Energy, and Ember. Or a Muddy Cat, level 15, uh, pure water type, Torn for the ability. With shit. With ground, mudslime, water gum, and bite. Or a tree coat, level 15, pure grass type, overgrow for the ability, a pound there, absorb a quick attack. This is not good. Whoa! Okay. Okay. I'm gonna bring his defense down a little bit more so I can at least guarantee I'm gonna do a lot of damage. So. Oh, well, that just negates it. Okay. I'll go for a quick attack. Oh, there we go! So as you can see, my Pokemon did a little bit more off-screen training. So that's good. Yikes, you're better than I expected. Ain't that the truth. Oh, by the way, Mr. Briney, who I just passed, Derek, you, should, you just moved here, so you might not know this, but Mr. Briney was the one that reverted to the Seafair. Thanks for the tip. So... I'm just gonna... Go right on by. I'm gonna cut this tree. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. Forgot to teach. Cut to Zigzagoon. There we go. And it was part of the um, glitch that I had from the last time when something happened, but. No big deal. I don't care about these stupid battle items, they are a freaking waste of time! And apparently I was doing this kind of right. Actually, you know what? I'll, you know, I'll, I'll come back for those later. But now that I'm over here, I wanted to see what was over here because there was something from um, beyond here that we have yet to see. And I need to put up a repel before I do something I'm obviously gonna regret later. Okay. Well, well, hello. Who are you? Oh, neat. That's the badge from Rustboro Gym. You must be a trainer. You should try using this item. Awesome! Thank you! You are going straight on to Smokeweed. And unfortunately, it's like you is not holding any items, so no big deal. What is this? Ooh, we got a great ball! Good, good, good. Let's see, is there anything else over here? Oh, oh, there is something else over here. What is this? I need to do some selling because... Uh, you guys know me when it comes into these battle items. They are a freaking waste of freaking time! Okay, here we go. Hello? Oh, no, lass, what a big goal! Derek, you saved my darling Pinko! We owe so much to you! What's that? You want to say it with me? Hmm. 
You have a letter bond for Duvern and a package for Slayport then? Quite the busy life you must lead. But certainly, what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man. We'll set sail for Duvern. Duvern it is then. Anchors away, think of we're setting sail, my darling. Alright, so along the way. Wow. Oh, Derek? Where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. I just heard from Devin's Mr. Stone about your Pokemon, so I decided to give you a call. Sounds like you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. You take care now. Thank you, Dan Norman. Whee! Okay. Oh, hey, we've hit, hit land in Duford. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to, who was it now? Steven. Yes. But first, I want to talk to this guy. It's a real fishing spot. Are you getting the itch to fish? Yes. I hear you, and I like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. An old rod. Okay. And as an advice, I'll even throw in a little fishing advice. First, you want to face the water, then use the rod. Focus your mind. If you get a bite, pull on the rod. Sometimes you can snag something immediately, but with bigger catches. You can tie the pole hose on your rod to haul them in. Okay. So, about that. That is actually something that I want to head quickly get into. Um, now that we have gotten the old rod, there are set, well, there's actually two Pokemon that we that are confirmed that we can catch with them, as far as I'm fully aware of. But I'll check that later on. I might do a separate bio on that one in the next episode because I'm not gonna have a lot of time on that one. So why don't we go ahead and cover the two Pokemon that we can guarantee that we can find with the old rod at this point in the game? So. First up is Magikarp. Magikarp. It may seem like it's not one of the worst Pokemon out there, mostly due to the fact that it's only other move that I would know but when you first find it is Splash until it learns to level 15 when it learns Tackle. It becomes very weak for quite a while, but if you can get it up to level 20 where it evolves into Gyarados, you got yourself a pretty damn good water head type. Um, the only downside is, like I said, it takes a long time for it to fully evolve into basically just switching out to start of every battle, so... If you want to use them one, by all means, I just kind of find it to be more easier to find a Gyarados later out in the wild, but... Hey. Then the next one that I would recommend a little bit more is... Tentacool! Tentacool! This is a very interesting Pokemon, despite on how common you can find them. They're actually very good! I actually recommend it quite a bit! Um... They are great special attackers, and they're good for taking a lot of special hits. Um, I kind of find them the guy a little bit nerfed in the later generation, but here, it is a fantastic Pokemon. So, if you want to use one, by all means. Alright, so. Now that that's all out of the way, you might be wondering what we're doing out here. Well, I don't want to go into the gym just yet. But there are a few things that I want to take care of along the way. And Elliot here is actually someone who's kind of a trainer of interest that I want to talk about. Okay. Come on. I'm actually trying to get Slacker up another level so I can kind of be kind of caught up with the with Smokeweed. So. I'm not even close to anybody to taking on the gym here. Trust me, I'm not even close. Maybe I should consider snatching myself a flying type Pokemon and then train it up in there just so I could use something like that as a bit of a weapon of last resort. And I like how this trainer has a magic card that knows nothing but splash, which is very, very funny. So we can swim, we can barely splash! <laughs> okay. That's vision's great, but so is bad. If you don't mind, can we meet again? So this is what I mean. This is someone who's one I like to call a trainer of interest because he can actually register you in the PokéNav. There'll be times later on where you'll be able to call them in for a, for a rematch. That's where you'll meet up with them, and then you can battle them from there. 
I said, anyway, um, we have right here the Duford Hall. Let's go in here real quick. Hello? What's in a boat? Why, it has to be skilled teacher. I can't imagine what life would be like without skilled teacher. Um, okay, this is a, this is a time later on where they'll be coming back here. But we have to collect a specific badge in order to come here because there is something that I really want to have. So, but this is a guy I also want to talk about. Gorge your eyes on this! It's a silk scarf! It's right at the cutting edge of fashion, yeah! Oh, I can see your eyes twinkling! You appreciate my dazzling style! Oh, you're a delight! Here you go! I want you to have it! Silk scarf! Fantastic item! If you don't want to believe me, get this! A whole item that raises the power of normal type moves. Hell yeah! Okay. Um, who are you? Jupiter is a tiny island community. If something gets trendy here, everyone picks up on it right away. Okay. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Um, there's not a whole lot what we could do out here yet. And I actually want to head out this way. Why don't we take a look for what's inside this place? This is called. Granite Cave! Hey you! It gets awfully dark ahead! It'll be tough trying to explore. The guy who came up by earlier, Steven, I think it was, he knew how to use Flash, so he ought to be alright, but, well, for us hikers, having out those uh, that we meet are our motto. Okay, that sounds like a very interesting motto, but, you know what? You seem like a very reasonable man. Team of Five Flash! Alright. Alright. But you need the gym badge from Duford's Pokemon Gym, so I'm gonna be stuck moving at an even pace. But you know what? I don't think I really need it. Well, at least for now, that is. So anyway, um, out here in Granite Cave, or it's Duford Cave as I accidentally called it in my sheet right here, we have some new Pokemon that we can find out here. One of them is Makuhita. Uh, Makuhita! This is a very interesting Pokemon. Despite on how it's the very first evolution of its kind, Makuhita is more difficult to catch than its pre than its evolution Hariyama much later on. I don't get why that is. So let me see if I. Can. Um, but it's actually one of the very first fighting type Pokemon that we can obtain. So if you want one, by all means. But they are a little bit more difficult to catch. So you might want to be careful on how you. Catch it. A great ball is probably going to be the best requirements for such. Next up is Zubat. Zubat, my tentacle, despite on how common you can find them, they're actually not bad Pokemon. They're very fast, and I consider them to be one of the best uh, uh, poison and flying types I would recommend. To evolve it, you, uh, you'll have to get its happiness to maximum, but there's an item later on that we can obtain after we get a specific badge. Adjustment, you will not go wrong for stuff like this. Okay. Um, next up is Geodude. Geodude, rocking ground type. Um, it's not a bad Pokemon, but the general problem that I have with it is it's hard to recommend it because we can't get it to its final evolution form unless we get it through a trade. So, unfortunately, if you want one, you'll have to trade with someone to get to its final evolution of Golem. Which is, it does become a great defensive Pokemon. I really do like it. But you gotta trade with someone to get to its final evolution. Next up is the previously mentioned Auron. Auron! This is a fantastic defensive Pokemon! Like, its defensive stat is like some of the highest I've ever seen once it's fully evolved. It, became, it still remains as a rock steel type upon its final evolution, but it does have a major weakness to rock. So, if you want one, by all means, go ahead. But the only downside is. Yeah, you know, like I said, you're gonna have a major disadvantage against. Um, fighting. So, it's still a good Pokemon. It's just knowing how to use it right. Then finally, there's Sableye. Sableye! Prior to the 6th generation, it has no weakness. Nope. Nothing. So, if you want one, go right ahead. It has no weakness, but the problem that I have with it is, it is very, 
very frail, so... I only would recommend it if you want to have something that goes for looks, but nothing else for it. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go on and come in here. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I traveled here and there. Oh, a letter for me? Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. Let me see. I'll give you this to you. Because my favorite move. Steel wing. Nice. Your partner appears quite capable. If you keep training, you could even become the champion of the Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. I know. Since we've gotten to know each other, let's register one another in our Pokemaps. Now, I've got to hurry along. Okay. We'll be seeing him again much, much later on. So. So I guess I'm, while we're going through that, I might as well show off a little bit of the gym, I guess. But before we do so, we need to do some switching around. And I'll tell you one thing. Slacker is going to be incapable of holding its own in this particular gym. So, as you can see, this place is completely dim. So, we are guaranteed to run into several trainers along the way, so, if I can't remember, can I hide in the place? Oh! Well, I'm such an idiot! So, um, that's quite interesting. Uh. No, I don't think I'm quite ready for the gym. Anyway, I'm actually on a lot of time for this episode. I know this one may seem a little bit shorter than the usual, but I'm kind of going through this rather quickly. So, I don't want to go too fast, and you guys don't need to see me blathering on. So anyway, we are going to go ahead and end things off right here. Ha! <laughs> Psych! That's not what we're going to be doing. But like I said, I'm not quite, quite ready to take on the gym yet. But I will be taking on the gym in the next episode because my Pokemon are still pretty low leveled uh, Slacker especially but what I am going to do is I'm going to head off for Sleepport and then I'm going to head off for what's his face place and I'm going to be doing some more screen training around there and I'm also going to do a little bit more off screen training and around Granite Cave so, along the way, I'm gonna go ahead and... I guess I can show off a quick battle, so... So yeah, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head on for the captain's place, deliver the letters, then I'll take on the gym leader in the next episode. Is that a good plan? Good plan. Good, good, good. Everybody go home now. What the... There we go. Decided to turn. Hope it's not lagging on me or something. Okay, come on. We got Wingo's pretty quick. Good job, Meryl. You got uh, it's like a wet. With that, you get to faint. Right. Here we go. Okay. Alright. Oh, come on! I get right into another battle! Then again, they were practically. Then it's proper. Then. Then they go. Here. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Thank you. Because I have. I got. 
Okay, we got Ricky's number. Okay. So now that that's all out of the way, let me just quick. What? Where did you come from? This is quite hurting my ear holes, in case you all are uh, aware of. Ooh, it's getting on a headbutt. Okay. Okay! Now where was I? Now that I'm done being so rudely interrupted by a battle that was not necessarily needed, welcome to Slayport City! Oh, this is the place where we want to be. So you don't need to hear me plow there, not. This goes here, then that goes over there. And where does this thing go? And what about this dude, Wiki? Ah, I can't make heads or tails of this! Hmm? Hi, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a ferry. That's right. Are they Devon goods? But, hmm, this one's deal. Captain Stern went off somewhere. Said he had some work to do. Did they get you to go find Captain Stern and deliver that to him? Well, that's convenient. He's not here! So anyway, um, we are actually all out of time this time. So anyway, next time, we're going to be taking on the gym at Duford City and finding out where this Captain Stern guy is at. All right, see you guys then.